if I don't want the big chair? What if I don't want the big chair? Everyone wants the big chair, man! <laughs> Hello, my dears, it's me, Kisaki Jackie, and welcome back to Control. Oh my god, did she have to write everything in a made-up gibberish code? Fucking Marshall Luther CIA spy shit, god. <laughs> Put a record on? What is that? Oh, it's the jukebox thing. Ah, a strange jukebox token. She speaks to Irish to find out more about it. Do I? I'll speak with you guys after I talk with my brother. The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the His signal I can arrange. But how did Darling create it? Where's my brother? No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. No worries. We're going to see my brother. We're going to speak with Dylan. But there's written material! So we're gonna read. Timeline of events. To examine the invasion's timeline of events for possible patterns in his behavior. Establishing a timeline is difficult at present because, because of the lack of Re reliable communications between bureau sectors and staff. Preliminary models indicate ground zero of the invasion is located within the executive sector. Once it becomes possible to interview sur surviving personnel, then pointing the exact location should be feasible. Other outstanding questions th that a timeline may help answer. How did the HIS get past the internal lockdown? How does HIS resonance advance through space, deliberately or uniformly? What is their ultimate goal? The outside world? A cross-dimensional destination? Question? I don't know. Linguistic ability. Researchers were sent to transcribe the recursive chant repeated by the his entities. In the interest of safety, this was done with the non-aggressive floating his entities. However, no distinction between this repeating phrase and the one repeated by more violent his entities has been observed. What is the purpose of this repeating string of words? Is this how the his corrupt individuals? Does the chant produce a physical effect? Is it a message, an incantation? We were able to record a first-hand recitation. Yeah, I think we read that. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> if we understand the his to be a force based on vibration and resonance, then perhaps their incantation, which is now the agree-upon term of their vocalizations, is an effort to express that resonance using human vocal cords and speech. Would there be differences in the incantation were recited in a different language? The most common word used is want. Interestingly, every use of the word is attributed to a you. You want to listen. You want to you. this to be true. You must want these waves to drag you away. Are we the you the his are referring to? Does the his believe humanity possibly all known his life wants to join it? To be consumed by it is that its goal. The second most used words are through and time. Is this possibly the, the his uh, stating how they arrived here or an indication of its age? There's clear intention in the words. Dismissing the intention as nonsense, as some of my colleagues recommended, is beyond idiotic. I don't think it's nonsense. They're clearly saying something that I don't know if I want to hear. Jesus Christ, it's annoying. Fine, I'll speak with this guy to know more about whatever that is. I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. 
Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? What is That sounds it? ominous. Yeah. Why does it send you there? Well, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map the physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have rolled back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. Right. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. <laughs> is everybody here busy? We're gonna get through this. Be constructed at control points or earned through reward alerts, support control expeditions, and defeating elite enemies. Okay. Why do I want to go there, though? But also, I'm looking for my brother! I heard that he's here! Maybe he's here because you guys are heavily guarding it. Yeah, there he is! Think he can hear you. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. That's great. Always a good sign. Uh, it is? <laughs> Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push your fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Please stop that. Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. Yep. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only child! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orange peel! Shit! Shit! He can see you! This is not safe! We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. Huh. In ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. Oh, now you're back to be chilling? She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for a pause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. 
That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. When your worm is a tune, you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcome the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. Where's the key card? I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are warm through time. He has the key card, but how do I get the key card? How did he gave me the key card? He's stuck in a box. Can I ask him stuff? I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Because apparently I can always ask can we talk? things for everyone, so. I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary. Before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me, brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? They can? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? I guess he is. <laughs> uh, I didn't know Dylan could be a girl's name. Thought it was a very common boy's name. Did that change? And now it's a uh, both name? I mean, if they say so. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's a rating. Alright, first things first. Good question. But first things first. Oh, what is that? Ah, yeah, I can make jukebox token. Right, now that I want to, but I want to go to, I want to go to Ati. I want to see if Ati has something for me, because apparently I cannot save poor Philip. I don't know why, but I cannot save Philip. Maybe Ati has something for me. Ate! Hey Ate! How you doing? Ooh, you do have stuff for me. That's the reason they can go. You need to scrap that clean or there goes my reputation and honor. Alright then. then. The good won't speak. 
Thank you, Ati. I'm gonna do that for you right now. Mold's gotten in here too. All right, let's get cleaning. She said, cocking her gun. What exactly do you expect me to do? This? Doesn't seem like that's what I need to do. Uh, I'm confused about what you want me to do. Oh! Would that be it? So I just need to shoot these bubbles of mold? That could be it. Oh. Mark Gibson, male, age 28, returned from the astral plane approximately 13 minutes ago. This was his 21st dive. Patient is experiencing migraine like pain, intense pressure behind the eyes, and partial blindness. He has no recollection of his time in the astral plane and appears severely disoriented. Preliminary examination revealed no immediate cause, so we will be sending the patient for x rays and. Get that thing! Got it burst right out of him. Come black! Get Marshall! Oh, shit. All right then. I didn't know that that's what happens to them. That kind of sucks. I also cannot figure out what else I can shoot to destroy the mode. That's why I was walking around. Cause like, okay, the mode is here, and then I could find some bubbles that I could break. But now I cannot find anything else. Oh, it doesn't matter, it worked. I don't know why, I don't know how, but it worked. It worked, I'm done. I'm done, I'm out. I'm out, I finished. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. So before we do the main mission, we're going to use this, because I'm curious. What is that? Undertake expeditions in the quarry site better to earn unique mods. Completing each of the four objectives will dismantle the formation to reveal the rewarding waiting inside. Oh, is that just like you fight enemies to get stuff? Is that how it works? Because if it is, it's not really something that I'm into. <laughs> I am stuck in here for the duration of that. Doesn't matter how much I just want to leave. So alright. I guess I'm fighting. That's all that I can do. I could have abandoned the expedition whenever I wanted. I didn't know I could. But I, I could. <sighs> okay. That's my own fault. That is my own fault. That is my own fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Finally. All of these dudes all the time. Sometimes it's annoying. Oh, there's more! <laughs> Fuck off! For a single second, leave me alone! Oh, look! Reading material. Oh, it's not simple reading material. It's a quest. What quest? A mirror. Alright, then. When we have time, we go to the mirror. For now, we don't. Prime candidate program. Let me get another. Uh, I had to get the pierce. I'm gonna get the shatter back. To find new prime candidates, the bureau needs a director. Our future. P6 and P7. P6 and P7? Who's P7? That's not that... After North Moor stepped down, 
I doubled every effort to find new prime candidates. There was no one. No one but me. That wasn't good enough. I pushed hard. I never wanted the Bureau to end up in that situation again. The Bureau needs a director. Always. When my time reaches an end, I want more options on the table. P1 through P5 were all false leads, dead ends, and disappointments. Then, P6. Dylan Faden. He fell into our arms. No parents. They're gone. Casualties of an AWE. The boy has exceptional talent. The oldest house will be his home. We'll build him from the ground up. He'll be trained and taken care of. Darling can be in charge of this project. I can't. I'll stay away. I will not fail the boy like I failed my own family. My daughter and my wife. We weren't careful enough back then. Something came home with me. I took work home. My Susanna got sick. When I realized my mistake, I wanted to bring her here for Darling to do what he could. Kate flat out refused. Civilian doctors treated our daughter, but they didn't have a clue. She died. Kate left me. Same old story. That was a long time ago. The Bureau is all I have now. And the prime candidates are our future. There are two. P6 and P7. We're spoiled for choice. And who would P7 be? Because I mean, I'm not part of the program. I'm not here. Are they even considering me as part of it? Oh my god, the way that I hate those explosive dudes! Oh, okay. I didn't know that that could happen. Excuse me, you did what to me now? That's what I thought. Of course you cannot hit me like that. Alright, you guys done? Don't think you guys are done. Oh. Okay, how do I go in there? Anything that I can shoot to destroy that? Not that I can see. Oh, what happened here? Is this normal? I don't think this is normal. Oh, this is so unsettling. This is extremely unsettling. Alright, yeah, let me fix that. What is this? Mirror supplement? She was admitted to a mental ward for emotional instability soon after relocating to Illinois with her family in 1914. The item only appeared on record again in 2006, when the Bureau investigated a sudden rise in disappearances in Illinois. Agents found the item hanging in the local library. They contained it quickly, though the missing people of the town were never recovered. Date August 18, 1915. We, s we certify that the case of Mrs. has shown her to be a lunatic under the reason of hysteria, bad company, and imaginary female trouble. Her fixation with the family-looking glass is no worth it. No worthy, though not an uncommon matter when considering the female disposition. Miss Carver is a fit subject for lunatic asylum and will remain its confidence until her affliction has passed. I and this is the one that I just found. Alice Wake, Mr. Wake's wife, was found during the bureau investigation. She was interviewed and evaluated. She shows signs of severe mental trauma in the form of memory loss. She was later directed to treatment. It was concluded that she had been trapped in a trash hole during its manifestation. Notable individuals still missing after the Bright Falls events are FBI Special Agent 
Robert Nightingale, and Dr. Emil Hartman refer to the creator's dilemma in the file Cauldron Lake Lodge. Bureau researchers believe this event was the result of a forceful perception of subject reality stemming from Mr. Wake overlapping on our own. Wake has been flagged as potential paratilitarian. Okay. In 2011, a book by Clay Stewart titled The Alan Wake Files was published by Roundabouts Press. Agents interview Clay Stewart and suspected minor paratilitarian sensitivity. He was placed under indef indefinite surveillance. A monitoring station was established at Cauldron Lake to alert the Bureau of any f future activities. Well, at least now we know what happened to Alice. Because she was basically just abandoned there and Alan is still stuck in whatever that place is. They were making an Alan Wake too, but then they stopped making it. So I don't know if they're still going to. There was a there was a trailer coming out. Uh, I think last year, this year, that it came out. That they were going to make it anyway. Oh my fucking Christ. Alright then. I defeated him faster than I expected, actually. Way faster than I expected. <laughs> I did not have <laughs> expected to defeat him this fast. Okay, I take it, I take it. Anything else in here? So dark, I can't see anything. And it's weird and twisted as well. I don't want to be here. Why is there so much chanting? All these people on top. Okay, maybe I can go through here. Did that door open now? Well, that one opened. Doesn't matter then. Does not matter then. Security and Paranopticon. Closed cases. B6. B6. B7. I cannot go there. B7. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. Oh, I got an outfit. <laughs> okay, then. Jesse Fade and movement tracking. You were tracking me? Cheyenne cause for concern? Uh, where was she going? And what? Well, actually, why were you tracking me? All the times I felt paranoid. I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. So she was P7. This whole time, the P7 was she. She was it. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan. And other kids as well. We loved it. This time... I remember was... different. We found a way in. Deeper into it, like... It had... Shifted. We went inside, and that's where we found the slide projector. A dump is a place for lost things. Things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with- Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Uh -huh. 
Did that make you uncomfortable? Calm down! No. That's just stupid. Come on. That has nothing to do with this. Nothing. This light projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there, away from your parents. I don't... I... I don't like the psychiatric. I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. So intrusive. Like, there are ways and ways to ask questions, and that's definitely not one of them. Like, what the fuck? Lady. Oh! Cool. Look at that. I opened this door now. Right, I'm P7. P6, then. It's my brother. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. Wishing won't change things. Finding the projector will. Ordinary. There's so much coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six, and the sister as well. By well, once we catch up with her, but the the boy, so much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here, and, and I don't want to invoke his name. But it's completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable. There was an incident. Yes. a valuable member of our team, yes. This is a force. Dylan has so much. But he's... He, he's just a kid. I, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Robert's got killed. It's an unfortunate accident. That's all. For who? Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Uh, I need to understand the circumstances before I get to a point here. But that's not just it. P6, victim autopsy. Agent killed during involving codename P6. Blunt four injuries in the head and neck. Extensive trauma of the abdominal region. Lacerations and contusions of the upper and lower dorsal. Fracture of the spinal cord between L1 and L2 vertebrae. Uh, avulsion fracture of the third through tenth rib. Left and right. Blunt force injuries of the extremities. Abrasion, laceration and contusion of the extremities. Dislocation of left and right elbow. Elbow. This location of left and right knee. After examination, it was determined that the cause of death was internal bleeding that occurred when the was contorted through his ex Excuse moi. That's just not an unfortunate accident. That's murder. Dylan Faden transcript. Subject was alone during this outburst. You again. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Why are you showing me this? I can't do anything. Can't you see where I am? Why don't you help me get the fuck out of here? You always show me things I can't do anything about. With Dr. Darling. Stop showing me her. I don't care anymore. And I don't care about you. You both left me here to rot. Fuck off, you bitch. I'll dig out my own brains if it means getting rid of you. I don't want you here. Get the fucking message. Subject repeated the phrase fuck off numerous times before being sedated at 5.53. I guess he hated you, darling. You really hated, darling. 
Is this closed cases? Oh, another one of those weird kids show. Uh, can I can I get this? Thank you. An unconfirmed trash hole manifestation at Caldron Lake, again with Alan Wake thing. Resulted in a fictional story written by the author Alan Wake, creating an AWE in which reality was altered to match that of the story, though only locally and for a limited time. Mr. Kirk Kirkland, head of investigations, was alerted on September 13, 2010 by ex-bureau agent Frank Breaker that an AWE event was taking place in place in Bright Falls. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Breaker had received call from Barry Wheeler, Alan Wake's liter uh, literary, agent, literary agent, on behalf of Breaker's daughter, Sarah, who is the current sheriff of Bright Falls. A bureau field team arrived at the site two days later, only to confirm that the event was over. Interviews were conducted, referred to the 70s Thomas Zane, Old Dean Anderson, Tor Anderson, Alan Wake was believed to investigators. Eyewitnesses report highly an old light switch, possible object of power, that missing. Wake was not found at the scene. Reports claim he dived into the lake, but no body was recovered in the search. Yeah, because he's still stuck in there. Will he ever be picked up again? Right, let's watch this, because it's bizarre. I can see you're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Some brains can lift objects like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no interruptions. So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? Maybe your brain can throw baseballs or talk to dead people. Or make friends blind. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. Was that a thing that they made for the possible directors? What if I don't want the big chair? Everyone wants the big chair, man! <laughs> That's why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. Okay. <laughs> what if I don't want the big chair? <sighs> don't be stupid, Clarice. Everybody wants this. I forgot the name, but that that's it. <laughs> Everybody wants the big chair! Okay, I'm so sorry. Of course everybody wants the big chair. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? I'm so sorry. Alright, where do I have to go then? Over there, I guess. <laughs> Don't be stupid, Mag. Everybody wants the big chair. I studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. Oh, there we go. The fighting again. Ready material.
You guys done? Fantastic. Now I can focus on the reading material waiting for me right here. I see your creepy teeth deliver and raise a dead you a dead dog. Yeah, like a straight up deceased dog. Had a collar on it and everything. I'd be rotting in a in that box since they packed it up. Go ahead and imagine how that smelled. So don't go whining to me. I wish I got to watch a parade of human teeth. What the fuck happened here? Tea time. Where did I get that one? Uh, hey Michael, uh, Malcolm. Yes, tea time is at 7. I'll see you at the course on Sunday morning. By the way, have you heard about this Tennyson report? Apparently there's a bunch of copies drifting around the office. Trench is looking to get his hands on any information about who wrote it. You wouldn't happen to have heard anything about that, would ya? See you Sunday. Uh, better not, better not know. Better not know. You look like someone that would definitely tell Trench. Anything important on this side? The elevator. That takes to the transit corridor. That is down there, definitely. There's a lot of people down there. A hollow sphere, stone-like material. Uh, inventory list of recovery materials. Vitrified soil, piece of various size of colors, animal carcass, possible canine, rusty metal bucket, leather wallet. A shotgun cartridge, all metals to go to the investigation sector for further analysis. In the ordinary? That was still there? Is that what you're talking about? Okay then, I'll get the elevator to go down there. Why there's no stairs to go there? Oh fuck! Well then, unnecessary. Me and I were both prime candidates. Experiments. I mean, you two are the only survivors of a city. Ah, uh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Go rid of the explosive dudes first, and then we just start to get rid of the other dudes. No, I don't have energy anymore. Why there's so many of you? You're mine now. Help me out. Jesus, you're useless. It's like you and nothing is the same thing. Fucking stupid. Right, look at that. Ah, so bright and red. At least I can clear out this place. Oh, much better. My eyes really think. New York City subway? What do you mean by that? We're going back home. Are we? Of course we are. It started there and it's... Never gone away. Okay. Oh, there's a door here. Is it covering fungus? Of course it is. Will I ever be able to walk on this? I don't know. Maybe I already am able to walk on this somehow and I just never figured it out yet. Whee! Is it going this way? Where am I going? The ordinary AWE area. Oh, for fuck's sake! There more? Oh, why are you there? I can't do anything to you. It doesn't look safe to go down there. I guess I have to. 
Let me get my life back first. There's gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Yeah, I just need to stay away from that thing. Oh, bridge operator. That's where I need to go. Well, you don't look like the bridge operator. There's gotta be a way to rotate. Oh, you're not going to start telling me. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Uh, please don't do that. There we go. Oh no, that's just reading material. Guess who just had to inspect an inbound delivery of like a hundred tinsy tiny little boxes? Me, that's who. And you know what was inside each one? A single human tooth. Fucking gross. Sounds fun. There we go. It's turning. Oh, look at you. You're dead. I haven't even noticed they were there. Won't rotate. Oh, it's not rotating. Something's blocking it. Oh. There we go. Is it good enough? Aren't they already on the other side? Ah, bridge alignment required to proceed. Okay, so that's why. Let me go to that side because it looks more less dangerous. That's what I mean. Is the train coming? I don't think it is. Alright then. Thank you for the passageway. Appreciate it. Oh, a box. was ugly and I don't like ugly stuff that's why I don't like myself <laughs> look at me doing great jokes I knew there was something in me that could make good jokes what is all this I miss Artie you know it was more fun when I was just doing things for Artie I thought it was a poor oh oh Come on now! Uh. Ah. Not you! Oh fuck, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I don't have any life left! Of course I have to deal with the invisible lady. There we go. God damn it, invisible lady. This place is too small to fight you. <laughs> like every wrong step, it would be enough to just like end up murdered by her. I I think it's a lady. I don't know. It could be both. It could be a guy as well. It's just like someone that was attacked by the hiss and then end up like this. Who cares? Who cares? Right, what am I looking for again? Oh, battery puzzle. Great. I'm very strong. I need another battery. Okay, I put two in place. Is this a plane? Looks like one. It is a plane. Oh, and a box again. You're getting me a lot of things. Fantastic. Now, where is the last battery? Not here, apparently. Oh, there it is. No. Yeah, here it is. Got myself a box. That's not what I want. This is what I want. Where's the last location of the battery? Where is it? And why am I doing that? Great. There's power. Or something. What is this? What kind of airplane is this? Why is this here? Uh, Alright then. Not nice. 
Oh, but now the elevator works. Maybe it wasn't working before and I didn't notice. <sighs> Where's the nice elevator music? Why is there no nice elevator music? Oh! <laughs> Alright. Well, that was a waste. A waste. easier to defeat than your counterpart big guy here. Oh, reading material. Let's go. I read a lot. The whole series is basically just me reading things. The airplane in question has been brought in, a, in from a private airfield located in the town of Cincinnati. Oh my god! Is Mark a player involved? It is suspected to be connected to the AWE, CK's file for details. It is being evaluated for alter status. The plane is currently being stored in the transit corridor in the containment sector. Brought there through the New York subway tunnel. Special access uh, for more information on tunnel and links in the Legends Center and Gold Stations and Bend Tracks. And the plane's black box is currently being evaluated for and initial readings have been taken by a research team. Though no alter status has yet been detected. So nothing is happening to the plane, except that it came from the same city that Marco Player came from. I think those two things are connected. You know? Maybe he's actually a controller of a something that makes everybody loves him when he uses his amazing voice. That's why everybody loves Marco Player. I'm so strong with these throwing things that I can defeat them throwing like paper boxes. The first slide was a room with dirty wallpapers and dolls on a shelf. There were lots of dolls. The AF interview. The house was empty. No one lived there. We played in there a lot. It was our secret playhouse. JF, therapy session. Oh, DF is Dylan Faden. JF is Jesse Faden. I went to school with Neil. Some kids call him Nosebleed Neil. Likely Neil Holzenberg missing. It was mean. He had asthma. Tom, note likely Tom Barlow, missing. And his gang, Freddy, likely Frederick Bartwell, missing. Hugo, no one by his name was found in public records, bullied him. We brought Neil to the dump to play. Extrapolate information. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation house. I believe that even the psychiatric that was working with her worked for the bureau. But I, I think that was what, probably obvious information. That's probably obvious information. Alright. It's weird to see this, like ordinary AWEs, like ordinary the city or it's just an ordinary AWE that nobody cares about. You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 Woo! years, shining a light in the shadows. Fantastic. Is this just music? Stop the music, I don't want to be copyrighted. What is this noise? What is happening? Is there an invisible person out there again? Ordinary summary. An AWE occurring in the town of Ordinary, caused by an object of powers, light projector ID OOP-15. Discovered by local children at the dump outside the town. When a specific set of slides are used in the projector, the projected image opens doorways to other dimensions. Multiple slides were used by children, resulting in the disappearance of the town's adults' population. On August 30, 2002, siblings Dylan Faden, 10 years old, CP6 material, and Jesse Faden, 11 years old, CP7 material, were playing at the local dump when they found a discarded slide projector. Uh, a team led by director Trench and Dr. Darling arrive at the site on September 14, 
The AWE had ended, but the team had found faded children who led them to the slide projector and the slides, which had been burned into the exception of one. Jesse escaped the agents attempted to, re to detain the pair. In total, 17 surviving individuals were found in the town. All of, the, all of them were brought in for questioning and tests. 17! I thought that everyone was dead except Jesse. Maybe the other ones that were there were actually children? There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions or die trying. <laughs> I think most of you guys died. Ordinary AWE stage 4A. Jesse and me followed the dunk monkeys to the cave. There was a lot of them. More of the kids from town had joined up. I was really scared. Jesse grabbed the projector and we ran as fast as we could. They chased us. I fell and hurt my knee. Jesse tried to help me, but the dunk monkeys were coming. They were just about to get us. But then Neil showed up. Neil looked like a dog, like a melted dog. But I knew it was him. Neil said a lot of times he didn't like being a boy because Tom just beat him up. I think he liked being a dog. That would, oh, the projector wouldn't turn off, so we changed the slide to, to the hand. <clears throat> I heard her immediately. She promised to help. Oh, the hand. Is the hand actually then uh, the thing in my head? I forgot her name. Propolis or something. Jesse said that we... Polaris. There it is. Jesse said that we should call her Polaris. It's because she was doing stars at school. Extrapolated information, additional slide designation, hand, is verified and in bureau possession. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity, designation, dog Neil. A dog Neil? There is, am I going to find a dog that is actually not a dog, but Neil? And what's up with the hand thing? Oh god, yeah, I love it. That did not help. There we go. Anyone else? Apparently not. Look at that. Control point. Hell yeah, that's what I wanted. Always love a control point. Always so great. Annual evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carla Vaughn. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? Let's begin then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Roberts. To tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 
18. How do you know that? What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In Ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. Or something like a dog. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Hey, hey! hey uh, are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need... I mean, it's your fucking fault for doing that to the poor boy. Like, that's so... Of course you would be pissed off. Everybody would be pissed off. After what happened at school to Mr. Chester, we started spying on Tom and saw where they took the projector. Tom and his troglodytes were using the, the Slat Hill Cave as their headquarters. That's where the projector was. They've been using the temple slide. We call it that, but really it was a broken concrete thing, like a warehouse or a bomb shelter or something. Very dark that not mother lived there with her. The not mother? Babies, children, I don't know. She was feeding Tom and the other and the others her milk. They were changing into little monsters. We called them dung monkeys. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation temple. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity designation not mother. Not mother? Reminds me when I read, I'm reading Yasha Hime, that is just the continuation of Inuyasha, and the kids, uh, Moroha and Setsuna, they were raised by not mothers. So it was just like a yokai or a demon that would take the face of a mother or one of their mothers to take care of them, and they would call them not mother. I wonder where this tale of not mother came from. Is it like a Japanese tale? Is it somewhere else type of tale? But I know not mother from there. The second slide we call the Mido. Mido? Mido? But it was really just an empty lot with a bunch of weeds. There was a shack and a phone line. It smelled like flowers there. It was powerful, intoxicating. We had crazy dreams there. It must have been because of the smell. I didn't like it. I didn't like losing control. In the dreams, everything was melting. And then, when we come out, everything had melted around the projector. Neil was really into it. We found out he'd been coming there more and more on his own. Then Tom beat the secret out of Neil and found the projector. He and his grooms took it. We thought Neo had got lost inside the meat down when Tom changed the slide, but that's not what happened. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation meat down. Ah, so it's much more. It wasn't just like a one day thing that they found the projector and then everything went to shit. They used it constantly. We went in and met Polaris like a star. She told us we were special. She made us special. It felt like being born or reborn, the world fading in, in for the first time. Familiar, but somehow different. Polaris told us how to turn off the projector. The dung monkeys and the not mother were coming straight at us. Dylan was crying. I turned it off and they were gone. It was over. I took all of the slides and burned them. All of them except Hand. Unconfirmed existence of Paranatha or Entity designation Polaris. So they know about her. So when she talked to Emily about Polaris, Emily probably already knew. Even though she did say that was completely classified. Oh, but would you look at that? Oh, here. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. 
interesting. Is that a box that I see there? Nope. But is this our house? Stage three. I think this is our house. Stage four. Stage three. Some buildings are stage two. Stage one. So I suppose that this is where they found the projector. And then it just started to grow and grow and grow. I guess. What's over here? Nothing. And something over there. Oh! Oh, come on now! I didn't want to destroy the thing! It looks so nice! Not the exploding dudes. For sake. We found the slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? Where? Over there? Ordinary dump site. So this was the dump site or is the dump site upstairs? Dump site, turntable, transit corridor. Maybe it's upstairs, let's go. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Calm down, Jesse. You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s named Thomas Zane. What? I don't know, matter. It suits you very well, the poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself. I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um... It's this... I feel... an emptiness. A yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No. No. Dylan's not dead. And that's not even it. You're referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Polaris. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she... She showed me things. Jesse, it felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown that you believe Polaris caused. No, it wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No, it was a cover up. The government knows about it. There were agents there, agents from I don't know exactly. They took Dylan. They... I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something... Something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, you know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. Oh, we cannot let you go. So she is in a psychiatric hospital. Well, she was before she arrived in here, apparently. Okay, I didn't know that. But uh, the psychiatrics of this place is just make me more and more angry. They're awful people. <laughs> I 
I didn't know that it would give me anything if I didn't stay close to the box. Details are largely based on interviews conducted with Dylan Faden, see interviews and for relevant information. And the obtained therapy sessions of Jesse Faden, as well as circumstantial event uh, evidence, found at the ordinary site. Note that accounts provided by all three sources contain conflicting data. Example, DF claims there were eight slides for the projector. JF mentioned nine slides. The Bureau found one in type slides, designation 36, and the burn remained of six others. Unfortunately, the slides are too badly damaged to be used in the projector. Jesse Faden is believed to be the individual responsible for burning the slides. Dr. Darling has ordered that the, en the entirety of the ordinary town dump to be brought to, to the Bureau for examination and analysis, with the hopes of finding additional slides or other outer materials. Due to the limited space in the investigation sector, this AWE will be investigated in the containment sector. Right, so maybe that's why we're here. Anything else? We're getting closer and closer to a very important point of the story here. Oh, but would you look at that? We are way too close. The ordinary dump. They brought the whole thing here. Look at that. Moved the whole landfill here in the middle of New York. And nobody saw a thing. Pretty unbelievable. They probably used uh, an object of power to do that. For sure. No way they did that by hand or by truck. By order of Dr. Darling, all work in the ordinary dump is to stop effective immediately. Resources will be allocated to the department. Details will be forthcoming. This area will be sealed at the end of the month. Please remove all personnel effects before that time. Any photography slides, the type used in slide projectors, found in the area should be delivered to Dr. Darling immediately. Did you find something that you did not like, Dr. Darling? Something very, very bad, I suppose. Should I go up? Let's go up first. Seems like there's going to be more information up there. Well, would you look at that? More reading material! Ha <laughs> ha! I am doing my... Oh my god, my voice. The item was found in the penthouse suit. Sweet, I don't know how to say that. At Toronto, belonging to Dave De David Wolf who was being investigated for illegally dealing in altered material. Bureau agents raided his penthouse and found numerous supernatural belongings, including and this item. Mr. Wolf was arrested. So, why would your 36-year-old Bay Street investment trader, filthy rich, married to a model, disappear overnight? That's the question that kept Toronto High Society up at night this past week. Police say it's being looked into. Some nut job radio show in the States claim he disappeared to join the Illuminati, but it's this reporter's opinion that Mr. Wolf, bored of his job, sick of his family, left it all behind to retire in some remote beach paradise. Now he's sipping Mai Tais while he, the world think he's dead. Where is he getting the money from to do all that? Actually, let me go all the way down there because there's a, there's a lab- oh, there's a lab that I cannot go inside. What is this? Something in the car. Ah, let me get rid of this explosive dudes first. There we go. Oh, there's more of you, for fuck's sake! For fuck's sake! Oh, there we go. It's dead. We should check that lab. Oh, look at that! That's a box. Okay, here goes nothing. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know what. Darling took the projector to the research sector. 
He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. That's where we go next. In the next episode. Oh, new mission finished Tango. Okay. I got a lot of new missions as well. A dark place, finish Tango. What else? Did you get me? I'll look into it on the next one. Because this, we end here. So if you liked it, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more. I'm going to play this game until the end. And as usual, hope you all have a happy ever after. I'll see you on the next day. Bye bye.